Oh, please leave the TV on. Is she going to leave the TV on? Please leave the TV on. Is she going to leave the TV on? Is she going to leave the TV on? Yes! Yes! She left the TV on. Oh, choice. Hey, what's on anyway? No, I'm just trying to see the listener. Oh, good. Oh, it's gross. Oh, Christ. Missed it last week. Oh, yeah? Were you asleep? No, no. The, the daughter dragged me over to the phone to rave onto that dickhead up the road. Well, not that pimple face that keeps his lunch in his back pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, anyway, what happened? What happened? Well, he left sardines and peanut butter all over my cushion. No, 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 no. What happened on glass? Oh, oh, we'll see what... Oh, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> oh, no. Not Alistair and Jasmine in the back of the Porsche again. <laughs> huh? No, no. Baby's just crapped on your cushion. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kia ora, They reckon a man's home is his castle, eh? Except down at the works where a man's home is his freezer. <laughs> and that's what we've got to talk about today, eh? No, not freezer's dummy. Homes. And what we can do to improve, improve to make them look better, eh? <laughs> now, some flash people, they like, get in what they call uh, home improvement experts. who usually turn out to be a bunch of puss that get paid for telling you that all your taste is in your mouth. <laughs> and watch out for those rip-off merchants too, man. You know those, uh, what they call, handyman bars? You know, they sell those plastic bags of nails and screws, and they usually have about three or four less than what you need. And what about those other jokers? They got um, pieces of water already cut up. They reckon for your convenience, your are usually just short enough so that you've got to go out and buy another piece of wood. <laughs> Man, talk about land ripples. And what about those, uh, uh, no, those uh, wonder filler, wonder stick things that look like tubes of toothpaste? You know, no more holes, no more gaps, no more money, more like it. It usually only lasts until somebody tramps on it. Get out. Till somebody tramps on it again. Anyway, before you blow all your mosquito, before you blow all your holiday pay, let me show you a few shortcuts that's gonna save you heaps. Come, come, come. <laughs> then, whew, hotty. Oh, gotta fix that. Hey, listen, if you fellas got a couple of bucks to spare, why don't you put one of these up at the front gate? Beware of the dog. Actually, it was supposed to be Dobermans, but I couldn't spell it. <laughs> Nobody would want to come into your place anyway after that. But what about this? See? You can tell all your mates that uh, you're not allowed to do your place up in case you disturb a sacred poopy shell stash or something. <laughs> and if you're lucky, the Parkers will buy the bloody place off you anyway. This is my favourite one, though. This one. Da -da 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 -da. Won't add any value to your house, but it'll impress the hell out of the cops when they ask you for your address, and you can say, uh, uh, Ponderosa, 211 Makeruini Drive, Otara. <laughs> I think that's that, Otara. Anyway, if you got want to spend heaps, but you're not sure if you can afford it, what about this? <laughs> uh, can you say, make use of existing amenity, amenity. Make use of things that are already there, because you never know what the old spade might turn up, eh? I remember one time my cousin found enough bottles to sell, built himself a pool, Olympic size too. True, true. And you never know, you might even find a car. <laughs> now, once you got the old scrub under control, let's have a jack at the house. Because after all, this is your biggest asset, eh? Oh, unless you're Lorraine Downs. <laughs> <laughs> and if your place is really rugged, look at this. What? <laughs> <laughs> true. Well, if you want to know more about this product, you just write to... <laughs> now that's... OK, let's go inside, eh? All right, then. Oh, you fellas already inside? Oh, good. You wipe your feet? OK. You know, the biggest hassle today is keeping up with all those flash kitchen aids and that. Well, check this out. And I might be able to save you heaps on this. The wall uh, eye level stove, uh, microwave oven, and a uh, waste disposal unit. Now, the difference between an ordinary stove and an eye level stove is about 500 bucks. But for about 15 bucks and a bit of Māori engine, new engine, a bit of cunning, <laughs> have a look at this. Look. Hmm? Eye level. <laughs> but you can hide. Open the door and pull the steps out. <laughs> Microwave ovens are a real rip-off too, man. I mean, what, you pay 1,500 bucks for something that's not much bigger than a carton of leopard? And let's be real, nobody's going to ask for a demo, so get the next best thing. Old TV set, 
rip out the screen and the guts and the plastic bit that goes around the outside, get a bit of glass, put a knob on the four door. Won't work, but nobody's going to know that. It's 1485 bucks in front. Check this out. This is my one. This. See this? It's a modified Land Rover gearbox. This is... And I'll tell you what, not only will this baby scoff up pork bones, fish heads and fresh up cans, but if you drop a knife or a fork in it, you just slap it in the reverse and it'll spit the bloody thing straight back out of it. <laughs> and the price? Got a bit of a wine and third. Synchro's had it, but I picked it up for, what, 50 bucks? Saving 2,300. No sweet. Oh, look at that time. Time to go. I tell you what, next week I'm going to be showing you fellas how to improvise in the bathroom with a vacuum cleaner and a pop-up sprinkler. <laughs> me, I better go. In horror. <laughs>